Hi everyone, so today we're going to learn how to make a movie streaming app using Next.js, TMDB API, and a secret API that I use so we can stream for free. So with that being said, let's get started. So first up, I'm just going to do a create next app and I'll just get the latest, which I believe it's 15. So I'm just going to let that do its thing. Just use some default settings here, renaming it to movie site. Just my own reference and for this one i am not using typescript just to make it simple not worry about types but you can choose to do so using typescript so all right now i'm i am in the movie database website so here i'm just going to create a quick i actually create an account so i'm just going to log in and um, you can see this is just like a for a test so let's go to, I believe it's in the settings. Yeah, and then there on the left side, you will see the API. So if you just go to API, you can get your API key. And using that, uh, I will take that over to our app and I will be creating a .env file. So first I just have to get inside and um, yeah. Let me just set up a few packages. So we already know we need Axios to make API calls. And then I'll, um, I'll just start up my server real quick, just to have that running. And we can see localhost just to make sure it's all set up. Cool, so our Next.js is running on the right side. And now we are ready to set up some of the things that we need to set up. So let's just do a .env here. And then here um, I will just do a .local, but that's optional. Uh, just a habit I'm, I'm used to. So we're going to do for Next.js, you, you always have to start with next underscore public. Uh, so then I'll just do a TMDB API key and then I'll copy and paste that over here. And once we have that, we can get started with our pretty much our routes. So the folders and the files using Next.js file based routing. So first I have slash movie slash uh, bracket ID so we can get the movie details uh, using the ID. And then I will also put a watch because we want to we want to be able to stream um, for that movie based on the ID. So for here, same thing, we'll just create the folder and as well as the page.jsx. Cool, now we have these set up. I think we're ready to get started on the main page. So I'm just gonna delete everything here the Next.js boilerplate and let's start clean. So first up, I'm gonna start and do my imports. So we need Axios to make our API calls. So Axios will just mainly be doing a get request here, but Axios makes it easy. And the other thing that we need is a link. So you'll just use a next slash link so that we can do Next.js based link, I mean routing. All right, so now let's set up the boilerplate function. So we're gonna call it function and we're gonna name it just home since it's the home page. Cool, so uh, after that, let's pull in the API key that we set up earlier. Uh, so we gotta do process.env and then we will get the full name of that API. So thanks to autocorrect, it's helping me out here. Cool, now that we have API key, we can get started and create and hold the response from the API. So I'm gonna name my variable response. Then I will do a, a wait and we will use our Axios to actually make the call. So this is the full URL and you can, you guys can check out the documentation for more things, but to keep it simple, I'm just getting, uh, for the homepage at least, just the popular movies. Um, so then let's check out TMDB API and I'll show you the API just real quick. So this is a good playground and you can see right here how what the, what the URL is. Cool, now from the response, we wanna extract just the movies because it does send details, other um, stuff in the payload, but we just need the movies. But now let's get started with the page. Let's just create a simple div as our wrapper and give it h one. I'll just do pop the movies, that's what we're fetching. So let's just load it and see if everything's working. So there's some errors, but now that we're good, cool. So we have popular movies on the page and everything else is blank. 
So now we can go get started and build out the rest of the page, which is we already have the response. So we can now hopefully render and show all the movies, the popular movies. So we're going to do movies since it's an array. We're going to do a dot map. And then for each movie, we're going to do, uh, we're just going to set up the code here. So then we will create something very simple, like a movie card. But uh, on the card, well, at least on the top of the card, we'll have a link so we can visit the page for that movie and get the movie details. All right, based on the ID, since we have, remember, movie slash ID. So there, and then href, we'll just do a slash movie slash. Now we're using string literal, I believe it's called. So we're getting the movie.id and putting it here. Cool, now what else we need? So maybe a little bit of styling, um, not too much. We're not gonna do too much styling, so keep it very simple. Um, let's see, so now we just wanna put uh, the div so we can create a wrapper and then we can have the image of the movie. Um, great, so thanks to Autocomplete, I already have that, but you, know, you guys can take a look and modify this to your liking. All right, now that we have the image, let's get the title you know, also in text. And it's right under it, the George. So, yep, it looks like we have the image and title. I just want to style the page slightly, so I'll give some padding. That's fine. If you guys want more in-depth tutorial on styling, I can do that. Just let me know in comments. But for now, let's just keep it moving. Let's give the heading popular movies a little bit nicer, bolder look to it. And let's just center it for our fun. Cool. Yep. I think that's good. Let's see what else we can do. Some padding maybe. And then maybe we just want to make the card slightly smaller. Let's see. Let's let's see what we can do here. So, to make it look like a card, we're gonna add a little bit of, of a border around each of these. And it's a little bit hard to see, but let's do a little bit more styling. All right, so we have it something on the image, and then now we're putting a little bit on the text. Let's just center it. So it's right below it in the middle, not on the left. Um, okay, we can see the border. It's not bad. Uh, it works. So let's see what else we can do here. Mm. Nice. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a two column layout here. Uh, it looks slightly better, but you know, you guys can modify the styling to your liking. I think I'm happy with this. So let's get started on the other pages. So now on the movie page, this is where if you click the movie, we go to on the route, you can see slash movie slash the ID number. So we don't have a page yet for this. That's why let's we're going to create it. Let's get our link again, as well as Axios, because we need to make a fetch for the movie based on the ID. And then let's set up the wrapper. Uh, let's call it a sync. I think I do want to call it movie here. Yeah. Movie details because we are getting the details of the movie. Um, ignore the autocomplete. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But I do want to, uh, next time I'll turn it off. But for now, it's just there for, our, for reference. Cool. So we have the boilerplate and now we have to pull out the ID from the route params, right? The URL params. So that should work. And then we would get the API key again, just so we can make the call to TMDB again. Um, so similar to the last page, we're going to do a get request, but the URL will be slightly different for this one. Um, whoops. So let's just get the URL here from our previous page. All right, so now we have that. Let's extract. Let's extract the um, 
the movie from this okay so let's just set up the code now to render something uh, what else can we do so let's do h1 to start off with this will just be the title movie title maybe some sort of casing oh movie.title So the title is actually showing. Now let's move on to the image. All right, yep. Now it looks like the image we saw earlier. And we'll have a little bit of a movie overview that TMDB gives us. Perfect. And let's see what's next. Mm. It also gives us rating, so can also show that um, you can round it if you wanted to but for now we'll just leave it like that and then we want to um, link to the watch page right because this is the movie details page so now let's set that up and it's just slash watch slash the same id so this page does not exist yet, but we'll create it soon. And then we're gonna put a button here. So it's like you click the button to visit that stream, basically. So just doing a little bit of styling here. And sure, why not? We'll just take the suggested. I'll just close it out. Cool. What else do we need now? Mm. Oh yeah, so you guys can see at the bottom there's a watch now button. And maybe a little bit of styling just to it out here okay it's slightly centered and then let's just make the title too centered kind of like the popular movies one all right yep now it's centered cool that's fine what else we can we do Just make the image slightly smaller, probably. And a little bit of roundness. You gotta add a little bit of padding on the description here. Or not padding, I mean margin top. Yeah, that looks fine. Next, let's just get started on the watch page so we can actually get to the page where we can stream the movie and we'll import Axios again. So we don't need link just yet. We can link back to the home page or the movies page, but for now, let's just set up the function to render the component. So I think we'll just call it watch movie. And we'll also do the same thing again, getting the params from the URL. All right, let's just extract the ID from the params. Then we'll need to get the streaming embedded URL. So for that, let's see. We're gonna use what's the API called? Vid source. So 
if you just google it it's gonna be a top one vidsource.icu and this is a free api so we can just use this we don't even need an api key i believe it's just that simple and it works with imdb or tmdb ids so for that all we need to do is pass the id that we get from params and it should give us the streaming um the embedded url so we can stream the movie now that we have a response let's actually get the data by doing response.data all right now let's work on the inner return so create the div create the h1 and same thing we're just going to make it the title of the movie okay so that's pulling from tmdb that's great next we're just going to create the iframe so we can put the embedded url so that's going to be source and it will just be embedded embed url not embedded let's see if that shows up uh, all right we have something showing up it looks like a video player and it should load boom there we go so the the gorge 2025 and i am clicking play but you know it gives a couple of ads like any other streaming site uh, but just after you close that out it should start working so perfect that is all set up and working so now let's work on the rest of the page and do a little bit of styling here so just kind of center it into the middle of the page and then for the title we'll do the same thing as we did previously just a little bit centered a little bit of bold And then for the iframe, we actually just want to make it slightly bigger because it's a very small mini player at the moment. So we can try for a uh, full width and max width of probably 4XO. Let's see what that looks like. Mm, it didn't work, so let's work on the iframe. All right, so width full is taking width and let's give it a height of, let's try 500 pixels. Okay, not bad. And just a little bit of roundness on the corners. Also, we gotta do a lot full screen so we can actually make the player full screen. That's a little bit of scroll going on here, but uh, that's fine. But yeah, the movie is playing. I can hear the audio on my end too, so everything is working. So let's just review the app real quick and yeah, we can see the popular movies. We can click, get the movie details and now we could even stream a movie. But yeah, uh, if you guys liked it, subscribe and comment. Let me know how it's go for you. If you have a live link, just send it, put it in the comments. I'll check it out and give you some feedback and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.